Hi, I'm Irma Botvin. I'm here with Dr. Larry Berkelhammer. Dr. Berkelhammer has researched mindfulness practices to increase mastery and in well-being. Larry, I would like to ask you about something I saw on your website. Uh, it's relationship building. Mm, yes. So when I was doing literature reviews of the attributes of healthy, happy people, people with, who live with mastery and well-being, when they, after controlling for all the other variables like diet and exercise and so forth, one of the things was social support. The people with the strongest and largest social support circles tended to be the healthiest, happiest people. The people with the, the least amount of social support tended to have the most health issues and tended to be the least happy people. So I thought, well, it's kind of hard to build social support if you don't have it, what would you do? So I came up with a practice, which I'm calling a relationship building practice. Mm -hmm. I got the ideas to some extent from Ellen Langer, who did some nurse, very famous nursing home studies uh, relating to social support. So I realized I've got to create a practice. So what I did is I started thinking, I don't, I don't know how, how you create a practice in this. So I just decided set a formal intention every day to call a friend, call someone, line up to meet for coffee. It, where you work, improve your relationships with your coworkers. Um, improve your relationships with family. Another researcher, Ken Pelletier at Stanford, um, said, he, based on his research, a sense of belonging and connection to other people appears to be a basic human need. And he said it's as basic as food and shelter. Mm. Uh, in fact, social support, he claims, may be one of the critical elements distinguishing those who remain healthy from those who get sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's really important if we don't have a support system to actually start building one. That's, that's why I, yeah. I say we need to have a, pract a formal practice called relationship building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of the practice is to improve social support and connection. Uh, basically, yeah. and uh, you want to look for every opportunity to be with people who you find supportive and gratifying to be with, mm -hmm. not just anyone. Mm -hmm. um, the practice builds mastery and well-being, and the way it does this is through goal setting uh, and working toward those goals. The goal being, in this case, uh, building your support network, improving mm -hmm. social support, community, purpose. So it's building it as much as it's great to have it and to keep it go keep what you have going. Your emphasis really is on building it, especially if it isn't enough what you I mean, have. you know there are people out there who have a phenomenal yeah. support system. And those are the people in these epidemiological studies who turn out to be healthier and happier and have greater mm -hmm. mastery and well being. But for those of us who don't have that, mm -hmm. it takes a formal practice, yeah. an intentional practice yeah of relationship building. Yeah, so the intention again, that's the important part, yep. is the intention. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That that was a great, uh, un thank uh, you. I got a great understanding of right. that. Right. Good.